My name is Brittany Charlton and I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the Harvard School of Public Health and Boston Children's Hospital. Millions of women have used oral contraceptives since they came onto the market and they continue to be the most prescribed drug among women of reproductive age in the U.S. And so although we know some of the more acute effects of using oral contraceptives, it still remains to be clear some of the long-term health effects. The Nurses' Health Study was established in 1976 among about 120,000 female married registered nurses and they completed a mailed questionnaire that included a lot of detailed information, particularly around their oral contraceptive use. And so for this particular analysis, we examined the association between oral contraceptive use and mortality using 36 years of follow-up with women in the Nurses' Health Study. This is a particularly exciting opportunity in the sense that our cohort now includes three times the number of participants and 18 times the number of endpoints as the next largest study that's examined this issue. The takeaway message for our findings is that women who took oral contraceptives through the early 1980s can be reassured that it's unlikely to impact their mortality. In our population of about 120,000 women, about half used oral contraceptives at some point in their lives. And between 1976 and 2012, we recorded about 31,000 deaths. We found that oral contraceptive use was associated with an increase in breast cancer deaths as well as violent and accidental deaths, as well as being associated with a decrease in ovarian cancer deaths. In light of those findings, we also want to keep in mind the broader impact of using oral contraceptives. So oral contraceptives may be used to uh, enable women to combat dysmenorrhea or even acne. Um, they also enable women to drastically reduce their risk of maternal mortality but it's really important that we continue these long-term prospective cohort studies so that we can continue to monitor issues, whether it's all-cause mortality or even lo other long-term health effects. I think we're really at a turning point with the types of contraceptives that are now on the market. Their health effects may be very varied, and so this is really just the tip of the iceberg in terms of understanding early oral contraceptive use and mortality. There may be so many other outcomes, particularly with so many other different kinds of contraceptives, that it's important that we keep monitoring these women.